Hi, my name is Sneaky from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Corky. I think Corky's pretty strong in solo queue at the moment. There's usually a lot of heavy AD comps going around. He kind of complements those pretty well. He does so much magic damage. I try to look at percentages every time I play Corky. I think it's usually sitting around like 74% magic damage, which is pretty insane because it's an AD carry. You build AD items, and then you're just doing insane amounts of magic damage. And it makes sense just because they made his auto attack split and made his uh, Gatling gun split, but it's still pretty weird from an AD carry's perspective. Uh, but it's, it's also really nice. The only disadvantage would be uh, if your team is full magic and you try and pick Corky, or you pick Corky first and your team gets full magic, and then the enemy just stacks magic resist, which could happen in solo queue just because of you know how random champ select is sometimes, you know, with bad team comps. Besides that, I think he's just really strong at carrying. Uh, just insane damage, has the package for making the fat plays, and can carry pretty hard. Corky's laning is, it's okay. Sometimes he can bully people just depending on the matchup. He has an okay matchup against Lucian. It's not the worst, just because like the main point of the matchup is he can dash out of your, uh, Lucian can dash out of your Phosphorus Bomb, which sucks, but if you just hold it, he'll never dash and he won't get the you know, the mobility, the uh, extra damage from his passive. And then you can land your Q whenever some sort of CC lands on him from your support. Or if he just gets too close, you can actually just Q him instantly. Uh, besides that, his laning is pretty good. None of the other really champions have too good of a matchup against him. Vayne is okay because she scales, but besides that, he can generally uh, do very well against people. Team fighting on Quirky is not too hard. Uh, usually you just want to start out by poking the enemies down with your ultimate, just because you have huge range on it. There's no reason to not go for it. The only risk is if they have some sort of CC to catch you out with. So you just have to be wary of that. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you'll manage to grab the package before a team fight breaks out. It's kind of hard to coordinate, but if you can get that off, sometimes you can uh, pack it through the whole enemy team and then valk another direction just to be sure that you're safe. It's super risky though. Uh, I recommend being very careful with it. Usually when you're super fed, it can work out, but sometimes you'll just go in and immediately die, which is very unfortunate, but uh, sometimes it, it's even worth dying immediately, even if you get like the full package off because it does so much damage and slows them down that your team should be able to clean up. So he's he's somewhat of an initiator in team fights, uh, but the normal AD carry role is just like the playback, hit the front line, AOE what you can, because you have so much AOE in Quirky, it's gonna be hard for them to not die instantly. But besides that, just do as much damage as possible when you don't have the package up to the front line. So I think Quirky is gonna be used a lot in competitive. Um, it might depend on the team comp. It might just depend on how strong he is relative to the other guys, but I think we'll be picked just because he does so much damage and he actually has a lot of utility just from the package alone. Being able to start fights, be able to cut people off, it's actually pretty insane. So I think you'll see a lot of play. So some tips I have for Quirky are use your Gatling gun on your Thunderlord's cooldown basically. You just want to time it with that. Uh, you, can, you can actually see the little diva or when it's down on the uh, bottom right of your screen, just to, to the right of your your actual buffs so if you if you look at that if it's not there then use a gatling gun when you can to trade another tip is when you're using the package i guess your first one is pretty interesting you can go roam to a different lane with it probably going to their like raptor camp and just using the package over the wall to create a line behind them if you go up like that you'll either knock them back into your mid laner if you hit them with it that way or you'll create a line where they can't actually just run backwards too. So surprising people in other lanes is a pretty good way to use package. So for Corky, I run the same set of runes. I run everyone. It's just 9 AD, 9 armor, 12 MR, and 14% attack speed. I've heard of some pages being used that are uh, hybrid pen reds, but kind of just prefer the AD marks instead. So for masteries, it's just 12, 18, uh, 12 ferocity, 18 cunning. It's basically the page you run on every single AD carry. Uh, I, I don't think you can actually choose anything else right now, to be honest. they kind of been screwing around with that recently, just changing up which one is the best. At first it was Warlords Bloodlust, and then it was Fervor of Battle, and now it's Thunderlords. So for now, it's Thunderlords. Maybe they'll change it up again, buff the other ones or something, make one of them the best. Keep it up with the Thunderlords, and you'll be good with Masteries for AD carries. 
Quirky's starting abilities are pretty easy. You start off with Q, there's not really any choice here. Uh, you, can go, you can go Valk or E early on, but not really worth it. Q is just the best. Um, for level 2, it, it is a bit of a choice. Um, sometimes, if you have control of the lane and you don't think you're just going to get immediately ganked, or you don't think you can get killed for taking Gatling Gun, uh, you can go for it. The advantage here is instantly being able to proc your Thunderlords, and that's pretty nice just being able to get free harassment with the Gatling Gun, so no one can really trade against that. But level three, you take whichever one of those you didn't get, unless um, unless you put a point in Valk, then I usually like to put another point in my Q at three, and then get Gatling Gun at four. I think it's a bit weird to have your skills split all across the board at three. It's just not as good for his kind of kit. Besides that, uh, max Q, putting points in your ultimate when you can, and then max E second. So item build for Quirky is basically unchanged. Uh, so you build Trinity Force first, which is his best item, I think. Getting the extra damage from Trinity Force procs, which you can easily keep on procking, just because of how much, how many spells you have, is the best item for him. So you go Trinity Force first into, if you can, and I think it's probably your best buy, is Sark Shoes. Not a, maybe not immediately after if you can get the BF Sword, but... You want to get those probably before you finish your second item, which is Infinity Edge. Because when you have Trinity Force in Infinity Edge in Sark Shoes, you're going to hit people insanely hard. It's actually ridiculous. You'll probably one shot slash two shot their AD carry. Uh, after that, it's kind of dependent on the enemy team. Uh, you can go Essence Reaver if they don't really have too much CC. The other options are BT slash Mercurial. I usually buy all these items anyways but it's just the order which you get the last three. So I think the most common one is going to be Mercurial, actually. There's a ton of magic champions going around these days, so being able to reduce the damage you take from them and cleanse any sort of CC going on you is actually super nice. So likely Mercurial third, but try and put more thought into it if you can. And then for the fourth and fifth items, fourth is most likely just going to be Essence favorite because when you have Mercurial or BT, you already have the lifesteal, and doubling up on it is fine. Maybe situationally you need that, but most of the time the essence saver should just be better. And if the last item, you'll get the uh, whichever one of those you didn't get. Thank you for watching this basic champion guide to Quirky. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over here at lawclass.com.